the number one thing causing your unhappiness. It's probably not what you think it is. Finally, some good news. And what store are you dying to visit? Welcome to The Hopefulist, a daily talk show hosted by veteran broadcaster Wendy McClure. Join Wendy each day as she shares her life lessons that transformed her from perpetual pessimist to the ultimate hopefulist. The perfect morning show to get you caught up on the day's top stories while sharing insights that will lead to positive transformation and bring out the hopefulist in you. For more inspiration, visit hopefulist.com. And now, here's your host and hopefulist, Wendy McClure. Hello and welcome to Wednesday, April 15th, 2020. Day 213 of Gotta Get On Ellen, April 15th, usually tax day. Uh, It's kind of flipped and been reversed this year, right? It is day three of the Hopefulest Challenge. How is your mindset? Are you in the process of setting it straight? Hang in there. A lot more to come. Lots more to get to. We are going to be changing things around your mindset included, and you will be feeling better by the end of this 30 days. It's going to not even take 30 days if I know, and I know. So uh, hang in there with me. 30 days to feeling better. That's all we want right now, right? Just to, to feel a little bit better. On the good news front, as I was just mentioning, Tax day, a little flipped around. Instead of you paying today, you're getting a little. Did you get your stimulus check? If you e-filed your taxes in the past two years, it should be deposited right into your bank account. I have to admit, I had a little negativity creep up on me this morning. Wednesday is payday in our house regardless. So I usually get up on Wednesday mornings. It's usually, the paycheck is usually in the bank account by the time I get up. And so I always look forward to Wednesday. Wednesday's a good day around here. And they had said on the news that they were going to start, you know, depositing these stimulus checks from Sunday through to today, that the first round was going to get there between those days. It's every day I'm checking, still not there. Every day I'm checking, still not there. And I did fall prey to a little bit of negativity this morning when I was logging onto my bank account. I was just thinking, it's not going to be there. I know it's not going to be there. I'm going to have to like go to the website, see the status of it. The website's going to be crazy busy. It's going to be crashing. I'm not going to be able to get on it. I'm not going to be able to find out any information. And as all of this stuff is going through my mind... The bank account popped up, and it was a nice big number. I'm like, yay! So don't fall into the negativity. Hopefully, if you've not checked yet, check, and hopefully it will be there. If not, there is a website, and I, you know, just Google it. I don't know it off the top of my head, but um, there is a website you can check on the status of your stimulus check if you are getting one. Now, if you don't typically e-file your taxes and are being sent a check in the mail, it's going to take a while longer for you to get it. They're saying up to a month. could be a month before you see that check. So hopefully, hopefully you have some direct deposit and you now have some money to get you through this tough time. I have to admit, I'm starting to feel a little stir crazy myself. And that's kind of unusual because, like I said, not a lot has changed for me. (laughs) Now, things have changed. Don't get me wrong. I mean, you know, I used to go out occasionally and do stuff. At least go to the grocery store. I haven't done that in a couple of weeks. I've been making Joe go. Joe's already out in the world. I figure he's he's already exposed, right? Of course, if he gets exposed, he's just going to come home and bring it to me. So I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, we're still sleeping apart. I figure it's just better until this thing's all over, right? I have to admit, I'm really loving having the bed to myself. (laughs) Me and Tucker, still waking up in the middle of the night halfway off the bed because Tucker just pushes me off to the side all night long. But, uh, things will be back to normal. Joe will come back to the bedroom at some point, but, uh, he had been 
having a cold, so that was one of the reasons. But he's been in the guest bedroom for quite a while now. We we, we decided to put him in the guest bedroom when he found out that a, a man that he worked with, his wife tested positive for COVID-19. So uh, that was when I was like, well, maybe you should go in the bedroom, in the guest bedroom. So um, things will get back to normal. But I am starting to feel a little stir-crazy myself. Um, I think I might take a ride over to the island today because my prescription is in. And I have to go to the CVS that is over on the island. That is my designated pharmacy. Uh, They have a drive-thru, so uh, it should be uh, fine. I shouldn't even have to get out of the car I think that actually going out and doing stuff that used to be normal, you know, like driving somewhere and actually going into places, it just makes me miss it more. You know what I mean? Like if I just stay here and don't move, I don't really feel like I'm missing out on anything as much. But once I get in the car and go, like I had to go to the island last week because I had to take some pictures for an article I was writing. And it was a really nice day and the sun was out. And I was walking around, taking some pictures, keeping my social distance. And I got to tell you, I was getting, I was like spring fever. I, I want to go somewhere now. I want to go sit outside at Tiki Bar and have a little drink, have some lunch. Just makes me miss it more, you know? When I'm stuck in the house, I don't think about it. So I made myself feel a little bit better yesterday by doing some online shopping. Got a few bathing suits and some long, flowy dresses. I hope they look as good as on me as they do on the models. <laughs> this is kind of part of what we're talking about on the blog post for today. Is This is one of the reasons why I hate online shopping. It's one of the things that I really have stayed away from as much as possible. Because they never look the same on you in person as they do on the super skinny models and, you know, the, the airbrush pictures and the setup pictures where it's the, the dress is all flowing in the right places and, you know, patterns look different on you than they do on other people. So we'll see. I, I got, I got some stuff. I gotta tell you, it gave me a little boost though. I'm really looking forward to getting some new stuff. I've lost a little bit of weight, so... I'm feeling like, you know, I can show a little more this year than I have in years past. Just meaning like form fitting or I had considered a a bathing suit that's a two piece. By no means is it a bikini. But I chose not to get it just because I didn't like the look of it as much as I as I had hoped. Um, But it's basically a pair of shorts and like a sports bra. And one of the things that I've always kind of liked about myself is I have a, I have a nice stomach. I have a nice curve to my stomach when, you know, my weight is at a reasonable weight. And if I could find something that covered, you know, the abdomen and held that in a little bit and then just had like the, the middle part. I thought maybe I could get away with something like that, even though I'm a little older now. Maybe shouldn't. And, you know, honestly, I have not even considered wearing a two-piece in the last five years uh, because I just feel like there's a time when you stop doing that. But you know what? I'm feeling pretty good right now. I was actually working out the other day, and I was wearing one of my new sports bras that I got from Fabletics. And I usually wear a T-shirt or something over it, but I didn't uh, the other day. And I got to tell you, I am feeling a lot more toned than I thought because I was kind of standing in front of the bathroom mirror a little bit while I was doing some of these exercises. And um, I still have the bye bye arms. I mean, I mean, they're just they're just not going anywhere. But that aside, I do have a lot of nice tone to my arms and like my chest area. So, you know, maybe I will show it off a little bit this summer. Maybe I'll just do that because you know why? There's no rules. There are no rules anymore. So I'm 50 and feeling fabulous. So I'm hoping that these long flowy dresses are also going to look good. I got a couple of them 
I'm not typically a long, flowy. Well, I am a long, flowy dress type of girl, but they're not always in style. It looks like they're in style now. So I went, went a little crazy. They kept telling me, you know, just just spend twenty two more dollars and you you get free shipping. I'm like, all right, well, if I'm gonna get the free shipping, might as well get one more, right? So we'll see. I'm also on the lookout for a new uh, bathing suit for my husband. Uh, he wants something a little fun this time. And uh, I'm looking forward to doing a little bathing suit shopping. I love to call them swim trunks. You got your swim trunks on? He doesn't wear swim trunks very often because we don't really ever go in the water. It's like, what do I need to wear them for? I'm just going to wear my cargo shorts. I know. He doesn't sound like that. That's what he's saying right now. So uh, if maybe you need a little boost, maybe a little online shopping. I don't know. It depends on your budget. A lot of cheap things going on right now, which also scare me. If it's cheap, there's probably a reason. We shall find out. I will keep you posted. The topic for today, I wanted to know if you could go into a fully stocked store completely alone for however you wanted, however long you wanted, what store would you choose? Now, I really, really thought it was going to be mostly supermarkets and uh, Target. And there are a lot of Targets. A lot of people said Target. Um, not quite as many grocery stores as I had thought. A lot of people are looking to do some other type of shopping at this time. Excuse me. So here are some of the choices. Like I said, we did get a lot for Target. Beverly says the pet shop. Pet shop is open, but um, yeah, there's the social distancing aspect to it. Denny says Walmart, they have it all. Lisa says Ulta. We got a couple of Ultas. Uh, Elizabeth said TJ Maxx. We've got a Boscov's, Wegmans. Marcy says Acme. I could get TP and wouldn't have to dodge the dopes who ignore social distancing. Lauren says, Home Goods or Marshalls? Looks like she's going to stock up on some uh, things for the house, maybe some clothes. Uh, they also have all kinds of cookware and dishes and decorations and sheets and all kinds of stuff there. Laurie says, A bookstore. Good call. Kelly says, Whole Foods or Trader Joe's? Uh, let's see. Donna says, I wish they had curbside pickup at the library. Yes, that would be so awesome. Corinne says, oh, this is a hard one. It's between Joanne Fabrics, the Christmas tree shop, and Michael's. Somebody wants to get their craft on. Kimmy says, Sephora, which is much like Ulta, I believe. Linda says, the Amazon warehouse. And Tracy, always the comedian, though she's probably not kidding, says, bound Beverages. <laughs> she's the uh, she's famous for her with a side of ultra, uh, ultra, that is. So there are some of the places you are dying to go to. You know, I think that I would like to hit Target myself because you know you can get a little of everything at Target. I think maybe um, you know get a little more hairspray, get a deodorant, get some cute notebooks. Get a fabulous pen, that kind of thing. They might have some swimsuits out and ready at Target. Maybe do a little clothes shopping. Yeah, it's a little bit of everything there at Target. So it's always a good choice. On to today's blog post. We are on day three of the Hopefulest Challenge. I hope that you are finding some good information here. It is 30 days to making you feel better. So today, we're continuing with mindset, and I'm talking about the number one thing that is causing you unhappiness. If I asked you what you thought that was, I think you may say something different than what I have in mind. The number one thing that is making you unhappy is social comparison, it's not just about social media. It's that feeling you get when you believe people have more than you do. And it affects you in so many ways that you don't even realize. 
It is getting harder to stay away from social comparison with all the media and apps we have available to us, and they can feel addicting, so it is hard to walk away. But before we delve into the newest forms of social comparison, 